Welcome back to another video. Today we have the Think Scan um, Plus. So Think Scan did send me this for to see if it works or to see if it doesn't work. Uh, don't forget to help out the channel by subscribing, hitting the like, hitting the bell icon so we can buy more tools like this. Make more to review videos. That's the way YouTube is a platform by subscribing and likes. Uh, so help out the channel by doing so. Keep your money on professional diagnostics, full OBD2 diagnostics function, uh, multi-function or multi-system supported code, reading, uh, clearing, data stream, equipped with some software, uh, maintenance and service. Uh, diagnostics cover all vehicles that support OBD2 after 1996. It says 5 inches LCD with good visual effect. Uh, you got Think Scan Plus S4, that is the model number or the model. Uh, system supported, maintenance and functions, ABS, R SRS, ECM, TCM, BCM. It says free three optional software. Scan Plus S4, model number TKPS4. All right, first here we got, uh, it looks like a USB adapter. Next thing we have, we have a USB cable. All right, the next thing that we have, we have the unit itself. And then we do have a nice booklet, nice instruction booklet. All right, so pretty much this is the tablet, basically. Uh, you got a nice connector here. It's, light, it's red, so uh, you got a nice handle on the side. Um, all this is rubber, all this surrounding is rubber. You got a nice screen there on the bottom, nothing at the bottom on the side. You got all right, so you got USB Type C, you got a memory card already in there. Uh, looks like a, a 16 gigabyte, so you are getting a 16 gigabyte, and looks like you have a button there to reset. On the top, you do have nothing, just the wire itself. All right, this is the truck we're gonna be uh, using this. It's a 2000, I believe it's a 2002 F-150. Yeah, we're gonna jump start it right now because it doesn't start, so it does have a lot of problems. Take this out of the box. So it should be down here. On this vehicle, it's located right here. If you guys see, so I have to do is line up the pins. Wider part goes on the top. So once you plug it in, you're gonna get that. So we have English, French. We're gonna choose English. It is a touch screen. Um, and I guess you can put your Wi-Fi in there. I'm not gonna put my Wi-Fi because I'm away from the house. I don't think the house will reach all the way over here. We got scan. We got OBD. OBD. We got maintenance and service. Think store updates. I think file repair info. All right. We'll, we'll do maintenance and service. See what this says. It says three free maintenance software for your option. No charge will occur within the chain. So you get some software for three for free, I guess. Select free software. So you get a brake lit reset, uh, coolant bleed. You got EGR adaptation, um, electric throttle, re relearn, gear learn, gearbox, ammo injector, language change, sensor, odometer, oil maintenance reset seat calibration steering angle reset stop and start reset sunroof transportation mode window cavalier so you could do a tire reset you can even change the tire size I guess all right so let's go back uh, so you can you can select to get those uh, you can select to get those for free some of them Update says think file, think store. Let's see what the store offers. Alright, so I'll go back. 
All right, let's go back. I think file. So no files in there. Repair info. OBD2 fault code. So if you, I guess, in case you say something in the learning coverage list, and then you got a video here. No videos. All right. So yeah, pretty much. Um, I would definitely. I think this is a great, especially because it's it's a touch screen. It's a lot easier to work with because um, most of the that yeah, where's four at what is the first one we'll just put this one because I think it's engine type 2 valve Oh, there, we'll just put two valves, see what... Alright, we'll just put that. Alright, health system scan, system selection, vehicle information. We'll just put vehicle information. So you got all the vehicle information here. Dometer says 27,421 kilometers. Which I don't think it has. I think it has a lot more than that. Uh, you got F-150 Super Crew floor size, four doors, 4.6. Two valve gasoline automatic. It says vehicle must be pe uh, prepared for self test. Ensure that the following initial conditions are met. Vehicle is stationary. The transmission is unparked, neutral. Vehicle is equipped with an automatic transmission. Engine cooling fan may operate during self test. Ensure that the parking brake is on. Clutch pedal be depressed during self test. No vehicles are all equipped with the sport economy switch. All right. I see it accelerating. It's actually accelerating. This machine is making it accelerate somehow. And I think the AC turned off already. So I don't know why the AC turned off. Okay, I turned back on again. So it's 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 running its uh, diagnostics. All right. It says uh, so you got the codes here. Basically, it's really simple. You got P zero three fifty ignition coil primary circuit fault continuous memory. So I guess you click on it and see what it says. It gives you more information about it. it says description ignition coil primary circuit fault. It says help information ignition coil primary circuit malfunction open ignition coil to primary circuit short ground ignition coil uh, DTC diagnostic troubleshoot code uh, may be caused by spark plugs oh so it tells you what could be wrong with it not it doesn't just tell you the code it tells you what could be wrong with it so you can uh, may be caused by uh, spark plugs spark plug wires suspect coil driver uh, suspect coil open ignition coil power circuit EDS CPU failure faulty damage realtor tooled wheel C key uh, crankshaft position sensor which is probably what's wrong with that so let's go over to this one here and see what it says it says memory DTCS P0340 description CMP camshaft precision sensor circuit. Yeah, I know this one because uh, I, I ran this, uh, I scanned this vehicle before. So camshaft per, per, uh, position sensor circuit faults. It says DTC diagnostic troubleshoot code caused by incorrect camshaft timing. No signal from CPU camshaft sensor or open cir circuit. Previously disconnected or improper connection. Um, open circuit, incorrect harness connections for additional information for two. So yeah, this is one thing that I like about this thing. It tells you exactly where you have to look. So on this one, it tells you uh, P1000. Uh, that's the code, I guess. Uh, description, onboard diagnostics will be two system readiness test incomplete. It says help information check all systems 
not complete since last memory clear. A vehicle is new from factory and has not been through a OBD2 drive cycle. Yeah, I guess it, it the battery died and it just hasn't been driven. Uh, it hasn't been uh, has been disconnected. Failure to occur prior to completion. All right, can be cleared. Move removed from memory. One of OBD2. All right, we're not gonna go over all that. There's a lot to read there. Obviously, if you're a mechanic, you've got more experience than me. Uh, so you got heater circuit, continuous memory. We'll see what what's up with this. So P0141. You got description heater circuit. It says heater circuit malfunction. Diagnostics. I'm just watching the temperature on this truck. Oh. Um, was circuit. All right. So it says some information there. Let's go over this one. It says heater circuit error. Uh, you got P0155 description uh, heater circuit error heater circuit malfunction caused by ungrounded circuit heater circuit or suspect H02S21 alright here's another one here's the last one uh, you got uh, P0161 heater circuit fault Heater circuit malfunction, trouble code caused by ground circuit. I know they have um, they have a lot of scanners. This is what they do, so they do specialize in this, and they do got some nicer ones. So definitely check it, check them out, guys. Um, I think this is a great product. If you're a DIY, if you're just a, you know, if, if you do mechanic work on the weekends, really quit this. No. If you do mechanic work on the weekends, this is a nice product. If you're, if you're a mechanic and you're on a budget, you can buy something like this. Uh, so you got Cummins and Caterpillar System Diesel System Test Specification. Use OBD, use the HD OBD software or Cummins and Caterpillar Diesel Engine Systems. Use the menu manually select off for software tool. All right. Really quick, yes. Do not forget to remove. Okay, guys. So that's it. Um, you can select the brightness, I guess. Uh, you can select if you want to re screen record or not. Uh, you can copy and paste. Um, it tells you the Wi-Fi, so you can connect this to the Wi-Fi. Uh, you got some settings here. Um, you got a serial number there. Option software order screenshots so you can take screenshots photo album um, screen floating window screen recorder network on brightness um, unit measure metric imperial and you can select the language here so they got several different languages espanol portuguese italiano all kinds of stuff so time zone america phoenix we are in phoenix Sleep time one minute, set firmware fix, diagnostic software clear, reset updates. All right, so guys, that's it for today. It's a really nice scanner, definitely check it out, guys. This thing's great. So, anyways, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the bell.